Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a reading for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. So the first thing my guides want me to talk about actually came up as a download right as I was doing the intro for this video, and it's regarding someone's sleep, sleep cycle, or sleep patterns. So specifically, someone that I'm channeling into in this reading may have had difficulty sleeping last night or recently as of whenever you are aligning with this video. Now, of course, do keep in mind that I channel many different people, situations, and messages in these readings. So always use your intuition and only take what connects with you personally. Also, if you would like to contribute your energy in a stronger way to the reading, you can do so by liking the video and subscribing to the channel as these are forms of energetic transference that allow me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you. Okay, so right away at the bottom of the deck, we have the devil card in the upright position. And I'm hearing that there may actually be some kind of hidden energy coming your way that could be impacting your energy levels or your sleep patterns. Specifically, it seems as though there is someone who is, I'm hearing manipulating energy or just sending you a lot of really heavy energy that could be affecting you in some way. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this person is doing this consciously. They could be doing this entirely unconsciously, but regardless, the kind of energy that they're sending you does seem to be impacting whoever I'm speaking to in some way. This person themselves does to seem to be dealing with a very heavy mental or emotional pattern. There's something going on in their field where they are definitely struggling with something very heavy. So can I get more information on this devil energy? It's almost like there's still a cord of energy between you and this person, and they are utilizing that cord to send you some of this heavy thought or lower vibrational energy that could be a little bit disruptive to you. Okay, now for some of you, that may not be necessarily resonating with you. And keep in mind, those messages actually do seem to be hyper specific to a certain group. So if that's not connecting, but you still had a little bit of strange sleep patterns, but not in a negative sense per se. So for some of you, I'm picking up these disruptions in your sleep may not necessarily be negative. This could just be that you are, for example, staying up a little bit later, feeling almost like an emotional energy coming through. For this specific group, these emotional feelings are almost coming up more like that feeling before Christmas as a child, if you celebrated Christmas when you were younger. And it's like this feeling of excitement, can't wait to do something, can't wait to wake up in the morning, almost like a restlessness. So not necessarily a negative energy, but still possibly a bit disruptive to your sleep patterns. This could even happen in the middle of the night for some of you. If this is the case, I'm getting that the person sending you this energy is actually coming up as an emperor. So someone who is very focused on you, especially if you are connecting here with the divine feminine energy, this person is coming up very much as a stable, awakened, divine masculine energy, someone who is 
either very focused on you consciously if you've met this person in the physical world or if you haven't yet met it's almost like their soul is excited to meet you or excited to connect with you in the physical world very soon and you're picking up on some of that restless kind of excitement energy this person again does seem like someone who is very stable i'm hearing someone who really has their life together or has achieved a level of freedom and stability but they're also feeling very focused on you in a positive or excited way so can i get more information on this emperor energy connecting with our divine feminines Okay, so you are coming up Divine Feminine as the Strength card. I'm hearing that you've been undergoing radical spiritual growth and development, particularly in these last few years. So you are someone who has almost undergone this sort of crash course when it comes to your own emotional growth and development. I'm specifically hearing that if you look back at your life just a few years ago for some reason i'm wanting to say three years ago but it could be any length of time if you were to look back a few years ago to the person you were then versus who you are now it's almost like you would be unrecognizable now but in the best kind of way and while some of this may be physically based a lot of what you've shifted and changed has actually happened energetically and emotionally i see that you've become extremely confident in yourself you are expressing yourself more authentically than ever before you are emanating this extremely empowered energy and that actually seems to be the main thing that this emperor coming up here is so attracted to about you. They really seem to admire and connect with you in that place of strength and empowerment. I'm seeing with the three of swords in the reverse position, you are coming out of a period of time where you've possibly had to deeply forgive someone or something for your own well-being. And I'm hearing someone that you might never get an apology from. So this may have been someone from your past, someone romantically, a family member, but I feel like there is someone or a group of people in your life that you had to forgive internally meaning you had to release those negative ties to the past with this person in order to free yourself to reaching this expanded level of confidence and empowerment and with the knight of swords reversed this could be i'm hearing someone who missed some kind of opportunity or chance with you now this may be one of those people that you've had to forgive so to speak or had to energetically release in order to move forward with your life if this is a romantic situation this may be a masculine from your past who was very disruptive to the deeper plans of your soul i'm hearing they may have doubted you or questioned you when you began really pursuing your passions or interests in your life this person seems like someone who really didn't understand your deeper spiritual nature or really admire those qualities about you that are so rare and admirable and this is someone who either now or in the future will be getting this massive wake-up call that they have missed an opportunity with you. I'm hearing it's almost like it smacks them in the face with this knowing that they missed some kind of chance with you. But I see that you've been spiritually guided to really let go of this era of your life that connected with this person to really shed the old here at least for the time being now of course i always hold space for the possibility that any connection could transform and align itself on a higher vibrational timeline in the future but i do see that for the time being you have been guided to really let go of this person or again it could be multiple people from your past now can i get more information whoa okay so as you are forgiving or releasing this i see you aligning with this beautiful 
two of cups energy. So what I'm getting very strongly here is this energy of you having the courage to release this knight of swords reversed, this person or these people from your past who may not have been able to appreciate you for your spiritual qualities or connect with you on a deeper level or those who may have actually even acted against your best interest or the plans that you had, the vision that you had for yourself or your life. Now, for a very specific person listening, a message is also coming through from your guides in connection with all of this that you might find it very beneficial to do some kind of cord cutting ritual generally or an energy clearing exercise where you mentally forgive or release people from your past that you may have been subconsciously still exchanging some amount of energy with even if you hadn't been interacting with them physically recently so that may be a relevant exercise for someone listening and could help you to actually manifest this love union coming up as the two of cups and also connecting with that emperor energy manifesting in someone who's very stable, grounded, able to offer you the love that you deserve and desire in a very 3D manifested way. So I want to know more about that potential partnership you're attracting in. With Door to Spirit Upright, I'm hearing that for the group I'm speaking to here, this is something you've been able to intuitively sense and feel coming into alignment. So you may have had visions or glimpses of this person or of this coming together happening. You also may just be having this feeling as though something is about to occur in your life that's going to be monumental in a really positive way. So with the door to spirit card as well, I'm getting that this is a connection where the two of you are mutually very much supporting each other in embodying your higher selves and you seem to see each other for your higher versions of self even if you aren't visibly looking at each other, even if you're out of touch, it's like your energy lingers with the other and vice versa. This reminds me of a recent Instagram post I made about this kind of love as well. So to read that, you can check out my first pinned post on Instagram and my Instagram account is at magnetize yourself. But essentially I said that this is a kind of love that truly feels like worship, that feels like mutual worship of your higher selves. And I just keep getting, you see each other to the core of who you really are. It's a very deep, very authentic connection. And there's also the sense here that you are everything this person has been wanting with appreciation and cornucopia reversed. It's almost like many things in this person's life, this emperor's life that I'm going to refer to as a masculine because I know many of you connect here as the divine feminine. And this person seems to be coming up as a masculine energy for whoever I'm speaking to. But they seem to have been really searching for you or searching for this kind of love or this kind of connection their entire life. So when they see you or when they connect with you, there is this instantaneous knowing that you are everything they've been looking for. And this really spurs them to want to take action with you. The numbers one and seven are coming out strongly here, but also the action card in the upright position. And I see that's one powerful way you will recognize this person is that they will immediately admire not just you on the surface, but your emotional and spiritual qualities. And this might show up in the way that they compliment you or speak about you as well, where they are complimenting your heart, your kindness, 
possibly things about your mind, your soul. And that's how you will know that this person is coming up here as the emperor and is really connecting with your higher version of self, really connecting with you at the core soul level here. And of course, another way you will recognize them is they will move very quickly towards you. They will immediately want to take action on this connection with the solar plexus chakra upright. I also sense that being around this person actually reinforces your sense of self-worth and self-confidence. You feel a kind of deep peace and ease specifically in the solar plexus region which is the seat of our self-image our self-confidence and the reason you feel so at ease and positively reinforced around this person is because they are able to connect with you from an authentic place and they appreciate you for those deeper qualities not just for who you are or how you present physically on the surface. So wow, really beautiful connection coming through for whoever I'm channeling into here. And I do want to channel a few more messages about this person and situation. But first, I want to share with you my personal most powerful tool for manifesting in my own life. And these are subliminals. Subliminals are audio meditations that contain unconscious spoken affirmations. These affirmations are embedded within other sounds, tones, and frequencies, which allows them to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious. This is so powerful because it's actually our subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. So using subliminals to reprogram your own subconscious mind is a powerful way to shift your energy and manifest in your own life. Personally, I have seen more powerful results from using subliminals the last several years than from any other manifestation tool in my life. So because I am so passionate about subliminals, I've created my own library of them through my app, Sound and Soulful. As you can see on the screen, on this app, I have over 130 subliminals for all different areas of life, including appearance, love and relationship, manifestation, mindset, mood, and so much more. When you sign up for a seven day free trial account in the app, you can create your own custom private playlists. You can access all of the affirmations while you're listening, and you can select between eight different background sound options for every single subliminal. Specifically for this reading, I would most highly recommend my subliminal for love magnetism. This is a deeply energy clearing and comprehensive tool to shift your frequency to align with the energy of unconditional love, which is the most powerful and magnetic frequency on the planet, not just when it comes to love, but when it comes to attracting positive circumstances, situations, and interactions in all areas of your life. So this subliminal will really help you shift and clear your mindset, clear out any limiting beliefs that may be preventing you from vibrating at that level of unconditional love and remagnetize you to attract in the love that you truly desire and deserve as well as whatever other dreams and goals you are manifesting in your life. So this subliminal comes from the love and relationships category in the app, and you can sign up for a seven day free trial account to try it out completely free by following the link in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. Okay, so I'm going to pull an emotion card for this closing part of the reading. So we got the death card reversed, which is a card of rebirth in this reversed 
position. We also have perseverance. So I'm getting a very clear message for someone who might be going through a period of time where you feel as though certain aspects of your past or your life are being deconstructed, are being phased out. There may be a lot of upheaval and uncertainty within all of this. You may at times wonder if you're really progressing forward and attracting in what you really desire in your life, but I'm getting a strong message from your guides to keep persevering, to keep holding the vision, holding the frequency of the new life that you are stepping into because what you're going through isn't an ending. It's a deconstruction of everything that isn't aligned with your new beginning. We also have the seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life, expression, and in connection with this, we have lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. So at this time, you are being called to more strongly express certain aspects of your soul gifts. And some of these aspects may be pieces of yourself that you've kept secret, kept to yourself, or not expressed for a while. This could be music, artwork, something you're doing, sharing, writing in the world. But whatever this is for you personally, you're being called, I keep hearing this expression in recent downloads, but to leave no aspect of your soul unexpressed at this time. So take that as you will for your own personal life. With the great seven severing reversed here as well, it's weird. I wanted to say the word seven and we got the seven star sisters. So the energy of the number seven may be strongly around you at this time. I'm also thinking of the number 777, which is sometimes connected to the energy of what others perceive as luck. So I'm seeing that you are coming into an energy that will look very lucky, almost magical to people around you. With the thinking woman reversed, you're being asked not to overthink this or allow your mind to get too involved because as Rumi says in one part of the guidebook, you are at the stage of your soul's evolution where your mind, the overthinking, the overanalyzing can actually hold you back rather than moving you forward. So you're really being called to simply follow that intuitive guidance to move with the flow of your life, to express every aspect of your soul and to allow the unfolding of this really beautiful new beginning, both in love, as we saw earlier, but in all areas of your life as well. So I am going to be closing this reading with one final Rumi Oracle card. Of course, if you do feel a resonance here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. And the final card here is Sacred Convergence, which is the number 1111 card. And whenever I see this card, I actually think the words sacred union. So this could be related to the union energy with that masculine emperor coming up earlier in the reading as well. So the guidebook here says... Sacred convergence indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause. This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. There is an aspect of joining together for common purpose, although that purpose may not be immediately obvious at a level of day-to-day -day consciousness. That common soul purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief, to shed fear and open the heart, filling each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal, passionate purpose. So that feels like a really beautiful place to close the reading. Of course, if you do feel guided to try out my Love Magnetism Subliminal on my Subliminals app, Sound and Soulful, the link to download the app is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Have a beautiful day and I will connect with you here again in the next video.